On Thursday, we have the Field of Dreams game, and I'm a little bit confused, because last year, it was epic. You had the Yankees and the White Sox, great game, both teams with World Series aspirations. And then this year, they just decided to be like, fuck it, we're gonna put in the Cubs and the Reds, both teams who are probably hoping they lose. And it's like, yeah, they made the schedule before the season actually started, but it doesn't take freaking rocket science to look at the Cubs and the Reds roster and know by August, these teams are gonna be nowhere close to contention. Either way, the Field of Dreams is a great event, and now we have a brand new feature program to celebrate it, only lasting for 10 days. And I I like the way they set it up this year. We'll get into that in a little bit here, but taking a look at some of the rewards, it's set up like every other one. You got a bunch of random shit, and then once you get here, you got the classic packs, which includes a 92 overall Anibal Sanchez from his postseason days, a Kyle Lewis, Max Freed. This Max Muncy card actually looks really sick. 100, 100 power on both sides, good fielding, and a little bit of versatility. And then you got a Future Stars Ryan Mountcastle card. I always like those Hunchpin cards. It just makes it so much easier to do the voucher collection and it's a lot of new cards you can try to use because there's missions with that but of course we're gonna have some classic stadiums some throwback unis from both teams and with all the classic packs you should be able to earn all five of these cards then i never understand why they throw these back in here because if you did the last program you didn't need to get very far and you have all these cards so it's just a bunch of duplicates chilling in your binder but since this is only a 10 day program it's going to be a lot shorter to get all the bosses there are nine total bosses and you'll be able to earn four of them along the way like i said i really like the way they set it up so the first one comes at 150,000 xp we got the flashback bosses this is going to include joey vado who's actually going to be playing on the game probably the one relevant person that is yadier molina definitely not a hall of famer and it kind of shows this card not gonna lie he's kind of ass he's got 100 plus contact both sides of course he's gonna have really good fielding and then he does have the catcher pop time quirk so it's gonna be really hard to steal on him so a nice defensive catcher right there and we should probably look at the stats for joey Votto because this is my choice joey Votto cards always really nice he's got a good left-handed swing 117 and 107 contact with 100 power right and 92 power left 81 fielding doesn't really matter he's a first baseman the only issue i have with him is we already have so many good 99 overall free first baseman like the david ortiz and by now a lot of people have frank thomas too so it's really hard to fit him in there i don't like yadi very much so i could see a lot of people going with this 99 overall retro finest zach ranky card who has 98 hits per nine 110 k's per nine he also has really good control with a fastball slider sinker curveball and change up mix good control on his pitches too 99 on the fastball 97 on slider 92 on the sinker 90 curve 83 in the change up this card's gonna be really nice and his hitting stats Zach Greinke could swing it a little bit, so they're not the worst thing in the world for a pitcher, but man, we need a DH in Diamond Dynasty. So we got the Flashback Legends pack, so now we gotta, of course, have the Future Stars Legend pack, which you got 25k XP later at 175. This has Grayson Rodriguez, the stud, the scat, stat cast legend, O'Neal Cruz, and then Riley Green. This is probably my favorite because this is the only one where I'm really indecisive who, who I want to take because Grayson Rodriguez, he's got a good pitch mix with the fastball slider curveball circle change and cutter with 107 hits per nine and on top of that he has outlier on the fastball as well so he's a really good right-handed pitcher but man like i said o'neill cruz is a stack cast legend already he is huge so we'll see how that plays being six foot seven like aaron judge it's very hard to hit with him so it could be with o'neill as well but 98 and 93 contact 115 and 112 power 99 arm and 99 speed like the man can do everything you want on a baseball field he'll hit for a bunch of power he's gonna have a cannon at shortstop so he's gonna be able to gun down those speedy dudes and he's got some wheels himself 99 speed so i think this is the choice almost everybody's gonna go with but do not sleep on this grayson rodriguez and then poor freaking riley green over here got thrown into a pack with some studs he's not a bad card i just don't think anybody's gonna take him compared to the other two but 112 116 contact 94 and 96 power 89 fielding 72 speed like he does everything really well as well really well as well that just sounded weird
and then finishing off the bosses we have the legend bosses at 200k this includes lk line brian roberts and then of course you got to get a cup in here we got ron santo i'm not gonna lie i'm not a huge fan of any of these cards lk line his stats are good i've just never liked his swing he's literally perfect for left-handed pitching 125 contact and power versus lefties he's got 92 fielding with 93 arm so he's going to be really good out there and at the bare minimum he's going to be a lefty killer you can have off the bench then we got brian roberts i like his swing weird seeing a 99 overall brian roberts card his career definitely was not 99 caliber but he's got maxed out contact right 98 contact left his power is pretty damn good for a brian roberts card at 85 and 80 94 fielding 92 speed and he's a switch hitter as of right now where things stand this is probably going to be my choice a second baseman that has great contact has some decent power he'll be able to hit it out good fielding and some good speed just very well balanced card and then finishing it off we got ron santo who this card actually is close between him and roberts because this card's really good as well third baseman 104 100 contact 96 and 95 power and he's got the nolan arenado treatment when 99 field and 95 arm this dude just looks he looks pretty damn good and he does have some versatility as well you can put him at third second or shortstop so you do have some options and then i said you could earn a fourth one you will get that at 225k xp this one's going to be a choice pack that has all nine cards in here so you'll be able to double dip on whatever you want so you have 10 days to get 225k xp they're of course going to come out with missions showdown conquest map a lot of ways to get that done so this should be pretty easy but you can keep going 250 will get you the takashi pack this is with soriano and bob feller you also have a home run derby pack and an all-star game pack all of this at under 300k xp i think that's going to be very obtainable for a lot of people but the rewards start getting juicier you're going to er accumulate a ton of packs along the way between show packs ball and packs headliner pack and then at 400k you actually get a toolbox pack this is the new one they implemented like a week or two ago but a lot of the future stars card a lot of good options bare minimum you're getting a 96 overall card for free and then towards then here you can get some balling out of control packs and even two of them at 500k so you can go up to 500k xp in 10 days which is a hell of a lot but i'm sure some people will do it and as of right now you can earn these through gameplay xp like it has been all year daily moments we have a new event for each win it'll give you 2500 xp so definitely be sure to take advantage of that right now we'll go over the event here in a few minutes each program moments we got all the missions with those hunchmen that i showed you week one exchanges there's a field of dreams showdown that'll give you 15k xp and then a field of dreams cubs conquest map which of course we'll go over this i'll show you where all the hidden rewards are in a video later tonight so be on the lookout for that but there's so much to go over man we got the new event like i said it's gonna give you 2500 xp towards the feature program for every win you get plus the gameplay xp so a lot of opportunity here i'm not a huge fan of the rewards but of course you can earn the rewind packs and get any cards you miss i'm way behind so i need to do that at 15 wins you'll get a 97 overall kb with 94 102 contact 90 power right and 122 versus lefties also has a lot of pitch in for a lot of versatility as well at 20 wins you can get nick ladolo who's actually the starter for the game 101 hits per nine sinker slider circle change and four seam fastball pitch mix definitely not my favorite event in the world but i think the all-around logistics of the event's really fun max team overall 95 you can use any card you want and it's a stadium lock at the field of dreams of course it's the field of dreams event so be sure to play that you have till august 19th which is next Friday, which is when the entire feature program ends. So you have about 10 days to complete this. And it's not just the feature program we have. We have a brand new BR program in the game as well. 28 days do this. Bronze round, we got a 74 Rowdy Telez. Love that. Getting some Brewer loves. We got a rookie Roberto Clemente, a Carlos Delgado, and a Pedro Martinez all in the bronze round. Then moving on to silver, we got a Juan Moncada, tops now, Wade Miley, who is this Gary Sanchez and a Billy Wagner? This Gary Sanchez card, of course, he's gonna have really good power for a 79 overall. And then finishing up with the gold round, we got Herman Mercedes, the freaking legend. This card last year was actually really damn good, so I'm excited for that. Jerry's Familia, Kirk Gibson, and then the legend that is Miguel Sano. This card's just crazy with the pop. Oh, cool, cool stuff there. And then going on, 90 stars, we got 98 overall 
Yuk with first base primary, but he can play third, left, and right. 100 and 113 contact, 89 power, 101 par versus lefties. This card's actually a lot better than I thought. He also has 91 fielding, so a decent card. He will play on a lot of teams. You can earn a rewind flawless pack over here, get some of the cards you miss at 95, and then at 100 stars, you can earn the flawless pack, which has 99 overall Anthony Volpe, the legend. I think he's like number four in prospect rankings right now. He's got 101, 107 contact, 104, and 98 power. 84 fielding, 85 speed with 99 steel, and 99 base running aggressive. Can play short, second, or third. This guy is really damn good. Then finishing it up, we got Mike Mucina, 107 hits per nine. He's got a sinker, fastball, knuckle curve, cutter, slider, great control on his pitches. We said the 107 hits per nine, but he's got 99 control on the sinker and the fastball, 95 on the knuckle curve, 92 on the cutter. 86 on the slider, one of the best pitch mixes in the entire game. Of course, he's not going to have outlier or anything like that, but both of these cards right here are nasty. Let me know who you're going to take, because if I get this far, I have no idea. I guess it's just going to depend why I need it at the time, because Volpe can play short, second, or third, but Mike Mucina, the pitch mix, the hits per nine, this card's disgusting. So that's a lot, man. But we got one more thing to go over. We actually have a new headliner with 98 overall, retro finest, Grady Sizemore, great swing in the game, 99, 104 contact, 94 and 81 power, 93 fielding with 82 speed. He looks like a decent card. I think he will play on a lot of teams. Don't know how expensive he's going to be, but with that swing, his stats are going to play so much better than they actually do. I know a lot of people loved his card at the beginning of the year. Oh, so taking a look at the content schedule, we went over the Field of Dreams event. We went over the Field of Dreams program, the brand new BR program, and then on 812, which is Friday, we have the kid and more content, which means you can grind to get 99 overall and Griffey Jr. for absolutely free. I'm so fucking excited for that. Like a free 99 Griffey. I'm assuming the grind is going to be chaotic. It's going to be very difficult, but still super excited for that. We also got new tops now missions and the Reds Conquest map with roster transactions only coming this Friday. So Friday is going to be a big day. And then 8-16, we got new headliners with a future stars player, some spotlight moments, and a couple of other things that you can do to help get future program XP. 8-19, which is next Friday, is the dog days of summer, which is the new feature program. So next week, we already got a new feature program coming. This one's a two-week program, three bosses, five Hunchman choice pack, and one bonus 98 overall player in the program rewards. So this feature program just dropped, and we're already talking about the next one. And we all that day, we also got the roster update and beyond, which is player upgrades and downgrades, new tops now. And then this is the big one. August 26 is going to be extreme. So they really hinted that Moments Extreme is coming back to MLB The Show 22. Yeah, we're in 22. A lot of people were sad that they did not have it last year. Made the game feel dead really quick. This year, it's coming back. So I'm really excited to see how that plays out. Hopefully it's good. Hopefully the rewards for that are nasty, but we'll find out all about that probably towards the end of next week. We got two weeks till that drops. Let me know what you think of today's featured program. Who are the three bosses you are gonna take in those choice packs? I think as of right now, I'm leaning Joey Votto, Brian Roberts, and O'Neal Cruz. So I'm just stacking up the infield, but we'll see. And then for the fourth one, I'm gonna get Grayson Rodriguez. I have to take both those guys. Let me know in the comment section, subscribe to the channel if you're new. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.